right, today we're going to do a little bit of sculpting. We're going to do a little froggy. You could use for a kid's birthday party. You could use it for an engagement party, like the, the prince is um, giving the bride a, a ring, something like that. I mean, there's so many things you could use it for. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start with a, um, this is a uh, nine inch cake board right here. And I have two nine inch cakes that are two inches high two eight inch cakes that are two inches high and two six inches that are two inches high and those are for the head. So what I want to do is start with um, the body here and I'm going to put one of the smaller cakes on the bottom. Now um, depending what you're going to do, it, you can certainly fill this cake if you want. Stay away from any kind of uh, fruit fillings like strawberry that um, you know when you're carving that you the fruit will get in the way when you carve. If you use filling, go very light on the filling and use a stiffer filling if you can. As far as the cake that you use, any kind of a firm textured cake would work the best. Have your cakes frozen. I just pulled these right out of the freezer. Don't bake your cakes the same day that you're going to build this either. Um, if the cake is too fresh, it'll be crumbly and fall apart, which might sound weird saying that it's too fresh, but um, it will fall apart on you and you certainly don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the uh, chocolate cake here and I'm just going to place it right down on the board, pull off my paper, and I'm just going to put some buttercream here in between. And then I'm going to place one of the nine inch cakes on top of this. Okay, face down also. Make the paper off. Now we'll put a little bit more buttercream, but now um, since this cake is getting a little taller, I need to put a cardboard and supports in here because if it gets too high, um, it'll just end up, the weight will be too much for the cake and once the cake defrosts, it'll come, when it comes to room temperature, it'll get soft and kind of uh, end up having bulges on the sides of your cake because um, there's just too much weight. It couldn't handle the weight. So I've got some smaller boards here. Um, I'm going to be carving into the cake a little bit, so I don't want my board to be too big. So I'm just going to use a six inch board, take some dowels, just like this, push it in, uh, let's see, right about, actually let me move this whole thing back. Um, pretend this is going to be the front of the cake over here. So I'm going to have the dowels a little bit further towards the back of the cake. Just grabbing a pen here and my cutters. I use PVC pipe cutters to cut these dowels. It's so much faster. Uh, mark it right there at the top. We need to cut four of these. Okay, just as long as they're close. doesn't have to be an exact on something like this. It's not a wedding cake. that has to be all level. We're going to carve it and make it however we want it. So. Two towards the back. It's just a little stiff putting it in. Remember, I just pulled these cakes out of the freezer. Oh, and they are solid. That freezer is working well. It's easier if you use one of the other ones to push it in. Ooh, that bottom cake is solid. Okay, now I'm going to go with the next uh, larger cake. This time I'm going to put the rounded part up at the top. Then you put the cardboard on so that most of it is towards the back. Now I can put the cake on like this. Take the paper, throw it away. Do -do -do. 